by Miss Wishman's class. Just to give you some perspective, it's Sunday afternoon about 1 o'clock when I'm recording this video. So I've had time to recoup after everything that happened last week and now get started fresh on this video. You're probably wondering why I'm having you sit through this boring video because you don't like listening to me talk anyways and I don't even really know if you like me that much. But my tradition is that every year after I have a new group of students is that I make them this goodbye video. This goodbye video is going to summarize the good times, the bad times, the crazy fun times, and then let me give you a piece of advice and a thank you as you go on to the junior high and eventually into high school, to college, into your careers. So if you'll just buckle down for that time, I have a lot to talk about and I hope that you want to listen. So just to get started, whenever I first met this class, I had a great first impression. I had lots of students that would participate, ask questions, work as they should, and give their best effort. However, as the year went on, I slowly started to see that decline. Some of you would hold strong, while others of you were falling short. So with that, I'm telling you, you are my very smartest class, even though you don't believe it. That all just comes with applying yourself. So my first piece of advice to you is that you need to continue to apply yourself because you have a wealth of knowledge and I'm looking forward to seeing how you are going to spend that wealth of knowledge whenever you continue on to junior high and into high school. So adding into that, while I wasn't having to calm you down in class, some of you were leaders and most of you were any student that a teacher would want. If I'm being quite honest, I missed you a lot whenever you're farmed out. Again, I know you didn't want to listen to my self-talk, hardly ever, but whenever you got farmed out, I wanted you guys back in my room because I got so used to you and I enjoyed having you that much in class. So something else I can say about this group is that we've had a variety of personalities come in here. We have quiet students. We have smart students. We have athletes. We have jokesters. We have some mean kids. And then we have our nice kids too. I've said this before. I loved coming to this district because of the diversity that I would see in the building. And not only do I see this diversity within our building, I see it specifically within this class. Because of our, our diversity, we mesh so well together and I think that that's what created this positive community all within each other. So I wanted to also thank you because you've played a tremendous role in my life with me moving forward into this district starting a new year. You were with me whenever I started my master's program through SEMO to continue my education. You've been with me to celebrate my engagement just a couple weeks ago, which is a huge step. And you've also been the class that has been one of my first with the new district. So thank you for that. With all these significant stepping stones in my life, there are events that I can never forget along with the class that I'll never forget. Now the skill that I've learned from you. The skill that I've learned was just to embrace the differences and to be resilient. For those of you that don't know what resilience means, it's the ab ability to be tough whenever everything else around you is tough. My grandpa always told me the quote, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And that quote didn't really mean too much to me until I had this group. Whenever things got tough, it just pushed me to keep going because we did have our tough days. So I was able to push through the hard times and that made the good times just that much easier. My second piece of advice to you is just to try your best in all classes and don't just pop off whenever someone doesn't do something you like or when things don't go your way. There have been plenty of times where I've gone on to lots of you for just saying, hey, shut up, or saying something that doesn't even amount to anything, which I get it, you're probably joking, but not the delivery isn't always that way. So if it's not going to fly with me, I can't imagine it's going to fly with other teachers at the junior high. So please be mindful of that whenever you move forward. So throughout this class, I've enjoyed a few of you doing specific things, like one, watching Reese become a fabulous writer, watching Jatavion fall out of his seat for no reason, watching Jameson, Braden, and Kaden do the worm in one of these videos, hearing Lilu talk about her chickens, hearing Maddie talk about gymnastics, and watching Tyreek do who knows what at any time. So with that, I've also missed Junior and Tyson quite a bit. They've added a dynamic to this class that was hard to fill. And even though they took away something, we got Isabel and Caden to add to this class too. So there were some good things that come out of both of them leaving as well. So to finish that up, we've had our great days, like our task cards, vocabulary, and maybe not so good days, like a ton of achieve lessons. Anytime I could find a chance to throw in a story about my life, I took that chance. So finally, 
the part that you've probably been wanting to know about, what am I going to do next? I put all your names in this hat, and I'm going to each give you a special goodbye and a special thank you. So, the first student that I get lucky enough to talk about is going to be Azarian Neighbors. Azarian, let me just say, you started out at the bottom of the totem pole anyways, because I started out knowing your mom from word go. I mean, you know I had a life before I came here. I was a waitress at Cracker Barrel, so I did meet her whenever I was doing that. But what I learned about you is that whenever you got pulled to Mr. Belcher, he told me that you were the most well-mannered and kind young man that he had ever dealt with. And I said, that actually makes sense because he has two little siblings that he has to take care of as well. So honestly, part of my advice to you is going to be using your manners and to be that leader that everyone needs because your brothers or your siblings do look up to you. So please be that person for them. I won't forget you coming into my room after school and then sharing secrets with me. I'm not going to embarrass you in front of your classmates, but you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Lucky enough for you, I was able to get you during RTI as well, so I got a double dose of you. So thank you, Azarian, for being the awesome student that you are. The next student that I have is going to be Lilu Williams. <laughs> Lilu. I didn't put that chicken sound behind your name because I thought that you were a chicken. I put it there because every single time I was having dreams about school, you were always in them and so were the chickens. So automatically I started connecting two and two. So I have to give you a thank you right off the bat because one, I've never made a half court shot in my life until Friday. And two, you were the first person there to give me double high fives whenever I did it without even knowing any better. It was a quick celebration and I can't say thank you enough for that. Another silly thing I'm going to remember about you is you showing me your dad's Flappy Bird website and your head just so happened to be one of the ones on the bird. So thanks for giving me a little laughter each day and especially on that day. My advice to you, Lilu, is whenever I was talking about people popping off, don't do it. You are too smart of a girl and too good in the head to be thinking about popping off at somebody for nothing. So thank you, Lilu, for being an awesome student. My next student I get to talk about going to be Bailey Connor. <laughs> Bailey Connor. So you always gave me that little piece of laughter every single day whenever I would look up from my screen or look up from completing any task and I would either see you going or doing some type of choreographed dance that you've either seen on TikTok or that you have come up with. Anytime I'm like I don't know what she's doing but I don't even want to stop it. So most of the time, I didn't stop it. I would just sit there and kind of laugh in my head. So something positive I can say about you, Bailey, is that you are very respectful. When Miss Wishman chose you for Student of the Month, and we were trying to figure it out together, I had recommended, after she said Bailey, that you should get it because you were so respectful to your teachers and to some of your classmates. Notice I said some, but for the most part, you do a very good job at that, Bailey. So my advice to you whenever you go to junior high is just to give your best effort at anything, even when you don't want to do it. And best of luck whenever you have the, or you try out for the basketball team or any other sport you want to go for. And thank you for providing that little bit of laughter, even though you didn't know it, with some of your dances. My next student that I get to talk about is going to be Tyreek McMath. Tyreek, you know earlier in the video I said that I love whenever I would catch you doing anything at any given time, and that still holds true. Well, when I wasn't catching you playing games on your Chromebook when you're supposed to be doing something else, or making you take your hood off whenever you're in class or in the hallway, I did see the deep kindness that you had. I never felt like you were out to get anybody or that you really had a mean bone in your body unless you got tied up with like JJ, Rosarian, or Jatavion. That was just your game of people that you like to roll with. So anytime you weren't with them, I got that nice, good, kind side of you. And I like to see that too. Even when you were with them, you still had that kind of bone in your body. And my advice to you is to continue being kind to anyone whenever you get over to junior high and just keep the hood off your head. The small rules don't mean anything. So don't let something like that get you down. By the way, Thanks for surprising me that you are a twin also about halfway through the year. So again, Tyreek, thank you for being you. My next student 
I get to talk about Nia Johnson. Nia, you're another student that surprised me with you having family that I actually know personally. So that threw me for a loop right off the bat. Another thing that I liked about you, Naya, is having that softball superstar in my class. Naturally, I try not to be biased, but whenever somebody plays softball and we get to talk softball, I can't help it. I get to talk it, and I was lucky enough to have you in my class to get to talk about it with. So thank you for that. Something else I love about you, Naya, and that I would absolutely die for, would be your curls. Trust me, take that as a compliment, because they look beautiful. So my advice to you, even when you don't think so, Naya, just do your thing. You have such a great thing going for you, whether it's your looks, your personality, or your brains, you have the total package. And I mean that completely and wholeheartedly. So thank you, Naya, for being that total package student that I needed this year. The next student I get to talk about is going to be Jameson Wagner. Jameson Wagner, most likely to become a video game designer. I wonder why, but you totally show your knowledge with that. Most likely to become a math genius and runner up on most likely to become a mad scientist. Jameson, it's safe to say that you have the knowledge and with your knowledge, you've got to take that places too. So my advice to you, Jameson, is don't be afraid to show the knowledge that you have. You've been nothing short of a bright student, not only in my class, but in your other two as well. I really wasn't going to include the fact that I beat you on a bouncy ball race, but I have to throw that in here too. So with that, Jameson, thanks for letting me beat you at, le at at least one thing. You don't want me on a game or anything like that because then you probably would kick my butt considering that you're in eSports. So with that, Jameson, thanks for being a great student this year. My next name I get to talk about is going to be Jeremiah Jackson. JJ, you're one of those kids that I could literally say I could write a book about this kid. But instead, I'm going to sum that up in about four to five sentences. So with you, you were the athlete. You know, you could do just about anything that you wanted to that came to you. When it came to the classroom, however, you still had the smarts to do what you wanted to do. But yours is all about choice, kiddo. If you would show up and make the good choices that I know that you could make, you were my star pupil. Other days... There's no telling what I would get out of Jeremiah. Who knew? I mean, it was different from day to day. So if it wasn't you pestering Jatavion or Azarian or Tyreek or anyone else that was sitting at your table or really just anyone around you, then you were doing fine. So my advice to you, Jeremiah, is to show up and make that good choice every single day to junior high. And so you can be that athlete not only on the field but off of the field too that everyone wants to be. So... Thanks, Jeremiah, for not only providing me good laughs, but being a good student. My next student is going to be Lauren Frank. Lauren, I'm sure you noticed that the horse sound on yours was there for a reason. For some reason, everyone had you pegged as the person that would most likely own 1,000 horses, which may be true, but I thought it was an appropriate sound for you. So with you, Lauren, I've been lucky enough to get to know you pretty personally with some of the talks that we've had. I've been lucky enough not only with that, but be able to be able to have you in class. So you have always been the child that I pegged as no matter what's going on, you're just going to do your thing and you're going to figure it out as you go. So my advice to you, Lauren, is that whenever you go over to junior high, it's just to do your thing. Don't let the negativity influence you and only be surround yourself with the positive people that are going to help you. And my thank you to you, Lauren, is thank you for investing your time in me as a teacher and letting me get to know you personally. So the next student that I have pegged is going to be Jatavion Tompkins. Jatavion. So you probably already know where I'm going to go with this. Maybe not. But how could I forget the kid who consistently is falling out of his chair, falling down randomly at any given time, consistently up out of his seat, or is just pestering one of the girls that sits at his table. I don't know. However, Jatavion, I can say that any time I've ever had a conversation with you personally, you've been rather respectful and you've seemed invested in anything that I've had to say. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm reading that wrong, but that's how I felt anyways. Jatavion, you're a student that I plan on seeing go far with you and your grades, your personality, and your driven attitude. I think that you'll do great things whenever you go to junior high. My advice in junior high, 
is to stay on your feet because next year what's going to happen is nobody's going to pick you up. You're going to get trampled. And I'd hate to see that happen. So thanks, Jatavion, for being a great student. My next student I get to talk about is Jemiah Ivory. Jemiah Ivory. Let me tell you, starting the year, I saw this girl with a savage, aggressive personality, which sometimes you still have that personality, and that can be a good thing. However, over the course of time, I've seen you not only let the little bit of that aggression slide, but to becoming a good friend to a lot of your classmates. You've not only stepped up as a good friend to them, but as a leader and as somebody who has shown significant improvement. So my advice to you is to continue showing the improvements that you are seeing and bring that on to junior high so hopefully it will radiate amongst your other classmates. I've enjoyed talking to you about any random thing you come up to me about um, about soccer specifically because I want you to continue doing that as well whenever you go over to the junior high or into high school. So, Jemiah, thank you for your crazy stories, for your great personality, and still show up at junior high with that spitfire aggressive personality that you have. My next student, Reese Nestler. Reese Nestler, something that I could say about you is that you are quiet but mighty. At the very first of the year, I thought, this girl's really quiet. She's going to keep to herself and do her thing. However, I got to see your personality come out just a little bit more each day, especially when you were farmed out with me. And I saw this mighty, more aggressive, and way more assertive Reese that I love to see. I mean that all in a good way, by the way. Your friends, I'm sure, appreciate that too, and I loved getting to know it as well. Your style reminds me of exactly like the 90s girl in high school. The white shoes, the baggy jeans, the vest, and the shirt underneath it is perfect for the 90s. Your writing is some of the best that I've ever had in this class also, as I've seen not only great words from you, but just great sentences and so many other things I could compliment. You had probably gone down in my book as one of my top five writers, so congratulations on that. Now, your classmates did vote you, most likely to become a doctor or a lawyer, so you have some pretty high standards to live up to, but there's no doubt in my mind that you'll be able to chase your dreams regardless of whatever it is. So thank you, Reese, for not only having style, but having good writing and being that mighty student that I look for. My next student to talk about, Annabelle Morgan. Annabelle, you're another person that I have to brag on when it comes to style. You'd always remind me of the early to late 90s, of the jeans, the shoes, the shirts, the hairstyle even. Everything was just a perfect style, and it took me back to my day. So good job with that. Another thing that I could say about you is your hair. You are so lucky to have such beautiful, thick hair that you do, and your face. You just have a beautiful personality and a beautiful face to go with it. So Annabelle, continue taking your beauty as far as you can. You were another student that I could say has that quiet personality, but the further that we went, you became a little mightier as the year went on. So Annabelle, take that quiet but fierce personality over to junior high and shock the world. The memory that I have with you just so happens to be one day when Tyson Williams comes up to me and says, Hey, Miss Orr, Annabelle wants your phone number. So then I spit it out to you guys. Even though Annabelle denied it, I did spit my phone number out. But, of course, nobody caught onto that because who listens to what I say? But just something that is at the front of my mind whenever I think of you, Annabelle. So thank you so much for being a fabulous student, and I can't wait to hear about your adventures at junior high. My next student is Akela Watkins. Akela Watkins, my favorite thing about you was when you showed up. Unfortunately, I didn't get to spend too many days with you, granted that you were gone most of the time. However, that's okay. I don't really know the reason behind it, but it's just a better day whenever you were in class. So with that, Akela, my advice to you would just be to show up, show up. So then more of your classmates can get to know you and I can get to know you a little bit better too. So I will say the days that you were here, I learned that you are a very smart girl and just needed to apply yourself. So those days that you would apply yourself and show up to be a worker, you are one of the best ones, especially according to your Tiger Lily coaches, Mrs. Wright and Miss Mead. They both loved you just like any other teacher would, but again, they just wanted you to show up. So really the only advice I have to you is making yourself present takes your personality a very far away. So Kayla, thanks again for sometimes showing up. My next student to talk about is going to be 
Gabby Kimmel. Gabby Kimmel. The thing that sticks with you most with me anyways is when Miss Wishman did her write-up for you on Student of the Month. She said in there, no matter what Gabby does or what's going on around her, she stays focused, she does her thing, and does exactly what's expected out of her. And that's one of the best quality traits that any human could have. As long as the negativity isn't getting to you and you are able to stay focused, you are way more determined and more likely to accomplish your goals. So Gabby, going into junior high, take that with you and apply that to your every single day life and keep doing you most importantly, especially if you want to be on the softball field. In the event that you are, let me know because I'd love to catch a game. I love catching softballs, I love watching games, and I sure like catching up with my former students. So, Gabby, anything that you pursue or anything that you continue doing, work your hardest at it, and you let me know whenever you want me to catch a game or catch anything because I'll be there. So thanks for being awesome, Gabby. My next student is going to be Corbin Matisic. <laughs> Corbin, the reason that I pegged you for the laughter was because... I just think that you're going to be a, com a comedian. You've talked about music. You've talked about performing, your PBS rap, your um, performance for our talent show, the pre-rounds. I just think you have it in you to not only be a comedian, but to be a performer because your personality is out of this world. I've heard of you doing karaoke plenty of times at Say Some Egos, which is also equally cool. So Corbin, with that, take that performer personality and go places with it. Take what you're good at and go far with it. I've seen you not only grow just in ELA, but be a phenomenal student with your other two teachers as well. So thank you, Corbin, for not only being a great student, but knowing how to make anyone laugh at any given time. Go chase your dreams. My next student is going to be Titus Radcliffe. Titus, one thing that I can say about you is regardless of the day or the time or whenever it was, you were always giving your best effort and you did your best no matter what the situation was. I want to remind you that your classmates did peg you as most likely to become the President of the United States, so you have some pretty high standards to work up to, but if it's genuinely what, you, what, it's what you want to do, then go for the gold because I truthfully think that you could do it. Also, keep in mind that I put that audio behind your name just because you were the runner-up on most likely to become a soccer superstar. I even got to catch a little bit of that at the sportsplex whenever you were playing soccer with them. So my advice to you, Titus, is to continue working hard, doing your best, so you can become all that you want to achieve, whether it's the President of the United States or a soccer superstar, you've got it in you. So my next student that I'll be talking about is going to be Maddie Jones. Maddie, the coolest thing that I got to learn about you was not only were you an amazing gymnast, which, by the way, I'm going to stop here for a second. If you ever want to do the splits, I told you I'll match you on it or a cartwheel or anything, I'll match you. So that you're a gymnast and the fact that you came from Dexter before you came here. And lucky enough for you, I worked under the same teacher that you had. So I just thought it was cool that we were able to have that connection. Maddie, my advice to you for whenever you go over to the junior high, just like most students, is just to give your best efforts. And regardless of what people are saying, block out the negativity. And even though you're the small girl in the class, be the mighty girl. Be the girl that has that strong personality that nobody will be able to push you over. So that's kind of what I had to do when I was in school. Unfortunately, I know what it's like being the little girl. So thanks, Maddie, for being a similar person to myself. The next person I have going to be Briar Walker Summers. Please hang up and try again. Briar, I know that audio was kind of random, but I had to go with it because it was one of the first ones I clicked on and I thought it was hilarious. So I have to tell you something really quick. You were actually one of the students that had broke onto one of my pet peeves. And one of my biggest pet peeves is seeing a student out in public because I saw you out in public plenty of times at Neighborhood Market. And whenever I was there, I either would have to speak to you or I would have to go into hiding, which 
I was pretty good at hiding, if I do say so myself. I was able to avoid most of my students that I would see out there. So, of course, you can't help that, but just something that I like to throw in there. So, Briar, one of my things that I remember about you was going out to your house and you surprising me whenever you had the braids in your hair because your hair looked so phenomenal. So, my advice was to you is that keep the braids because they look amazing and keep doing Briar Walker things because... I've enjoyed having you, and you've been doing really well, especially behavior-wise, throughout the rest of this year. So my advice to you, keep doing what you are doing. My next student to talk about is going to be Caden Hawkins. Caden, what better student to put in my class than a boy that's come from Donovan, just like myself? I know that sounds crazy, but with us growing up in towns of less than 2,000 people, you kind of understand one another in a random way. So, great way to get to know you. My favorite thing about you, Caden, was not only your polite attitude to each of your teachers, but your willingness to learn and adapt in a new environment. You've had some great classmates that have been able to pull you along the way and to kind of coach you about how the CMS dynamic works. So with that advice, I hope that you go over to junior high, keep the Donovan personality inside of you, and learn how the junior high dynamic works. Unfortunately, I don't know that many of your classmates are going to be with you next year, but the best part about it is, is that you get to create a person of your own. So, Caden, keep powering through, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future. My next student I get to talk about, no other than Brayden Johnson. Brayden, you're one of the few students that I got to bond with about over having braces. Unfortunately, I know the pain and I've went through all of it the whole nine yards. So all I can say is that it's going to be worth it. So keep powering through that. And unfortunately, you are also one of the ones that I had to stay in touch with mom more than I would like to have. However, after doing so a few times, I saw a totally new side of Brayden that was not only a worker, but a kid that had improved significantly. So with that, Brayden, don't ever let yourself fall short because you have the knowledge and the power to keep powering through. Again, I could totally see you being one of the website designers or video game designers or a computer designer or anything along those lines. So with that, Brayden, keep doing your thing. I'm also totally jealous that you're about to go on to vacation in Florida. So have fun with that and don't even think twice about CMS whenever you're there. And my next person I get to talk about is going to be Brady Royal. Brady, there's one thing I can say about your personality. Straightforward and a little sarcastic, or a lot sarcastic. There's no going around that. So my advice to you, Brady, is just whenever you go over to the junior high, be mindful of who you're talking about, because there are some people out in this world that do not read into sarcasm. I myself have that fun, playful, prankster, jokester personality, so I can play into it. But some people, they're pretty straight cut, and they're like, no, we just don't have fun. So even though you have that fun personality that you brought into this room, just be mindful whenever you go over there. I have enjoyed every second of having you from cracking jokes, from hearing any comment that you make, or even doing well in my class. You've been great, Brady. So thanks for bringing that to my class. And finally, the last name I have to bring up is Isabel Wilson. Isabel, the only downfall that I can definitely peg about you was that I only got to enjoy you for two quarters instead of all four. You've been a great addition to this classroom and a great student up until the very end of this year. I've watched you grow from a student that was completely quiet and did her own thing to making lots of friends and to becoming a leader within our room. So with that, Isabel, thank you for being you. My advice to you is now that you know the leadership and dynamic of CMS, go take that to the junior high and continue building on to a legacy that you have started within yourself. Isabel, it's been a pleasure. So with that, thank you for being you. Now, I'm at the very end of this video and there are just a few things that I have to continue bringing up. So one, thank you for being my class that started the tradition of a lotion party. Never had that before, but I thought it was a great idea and I just ran with it for you guys. Number two, the second thing I have to absolutely bring up was that you guys made fun of and kind of helped me draw the number eight. I'm still going to do this when I take two circles, but I'll do my best to figure out 
figure out whatever that is. So anyways, that's what I'm going to roll with. So thank you guys for at least those two things. Number three, thank you for all showing such improvement in my class from going to fifth grade levels all the way up to sixth grade reading levels. I couldn't have asked for better. And all I want to see you do is continue approving along the way. I will tell you, everything that I just read off to you was not scripted at all besides the very beginning. Everything that I've told you has come directly from my heart. And so with that, I hope that I've left a handprint on your heart or on your mind or wherever it is. I look forward to staying in touch with most of you. And if you ever feel like you'd like to reach out, please do so. With that being said, if you ever have any basketball, baseball, softball, swimming, diving, concerts, anything like that, any schedule you want me to get a hold of, please feel free to email me, get in contact with me, walk over here from the junior high because I want to hear about it all, whether it's good or whether it's bad. So thank you again for being one of the best classes that I've had in my teaching career thus far. I look forward to hearing from you in the future and I can't wait to see the great things that you do. So thank you and goodbye.